One, two, one, two. Check, check, check. Right, I think it sounds okay. <laughs> we'll go with that. As uh, good as we'll get. So sound checks are done. Just need to get the uh, get the little like social media shares done. everywhere I need to send it. So I think we are... Uh, give it a couple of minutes, uh, make sure I've got everything ready and then we'll uh, we'll get started. So as the title says, i um, going to be doing some battle stadium today, but I need to get the team ready. It shouldn't take me too long, hopefully. Um, if I find it's taking me too long, then we'll just we'll just do showdown instead. But hopefully we should have it ready and we should be able to get some matches off on, um, on battle stadium. So that'll be good. Oh, where's my um, stream gone? There it is. Right. Okay, so I'm just gonna just gonna get the uh, YouTube intro uh, done because these um, these videos are gonna go to YouTube. So let me just get this uh, get this done bit get this bit done. Oh, I'm a bit tired. <laughs> Hi, I'm Liam, otherwise known as uh, Duke Tobrone, and welcome to the stream. Uh, today I'll be playing Pokemon VGC on Battle Stadium. Uh, I'll be using a Practice Glastria Trick Room team. Um, you'll be able to get the team paste by using the exclamation mark team command on Twitch, or by checking the video description. Uh, that's if you're watching this, um, this uh, video on demand on uh, Twitch or on YouTube. Um, if you do like this video, uh, follow me on Twitch, or you can also like this video and subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Uh, so I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, let's let's get started. Right, that's that's my intro done. And a bit of a bit of a bit So now let's actually get the team ready, shall we? So um, I've already put a um, team paste. Well, I've, I've done the team command myself. Uh, but there's the uh, link for the uh, for the team. Um, so you can check that out now. And then also got my socials. Just quickly do those, just spam it. <laughs> so um, we've got my uh, Discord there, which I put my schedule on. Um, still working on a schedule at the moment. There's not, nothing that's nothing concrete at the moment. Um, I've got my uh, Twitter page, um, so you can uh, follow me there and then see what I'm up to. And then also, as as mentioned before, got uh, YouTube there. So um, any uh, videos that I highlight go straight onto there as well. So you can watch it on Twitch or you can watch it on YouTube, uh, whichever you prefer. Okay. So I need to keep on going. Uh, where I am at the moment is, if I just quickly show you, um, I've got a team that's in the making. They're all in the high 90s at the moment. Um, I need to get them to level 100 so I can actually give them uh, bottle caps and uh, max out the uh, stats uh, for these Pokemon. And then once, once I've done, well, max out their IVs, 
But once I've done that, uh, then we can actually get a team together and do some uh, Battle Stadium. So maybe two or three rounds of Max Raid Adventures, and then it should be ready. I'm just going to get on with that. Um, if you're in the chat, um, feel feel free to uh, chat. <laughs> Um, if you're if you're just lurking, um, I've also got a uh, alert command which I'll I'll demonstrate to you now. There it is! Exclamation mark lurk, and yeah, it'll, it'll just let it'll just let me know that you're you're there. <laughs> if you don't feel like chatting, you don't have to. But I tell you what, I I do feel like I have to get my team ready to actually you know show some actual content for this <laughs> this stream. <laughs> Right, uh, so yes, let's do Max Raid Adventure. All right, what have we got? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Do have a tend to crawl on that one. Hopefully, the uh, computer gives the um, pick some good options. Doesn't get knocked out instantly. Otherwise, it's going to be a much slower process to. Uh, get these last few remaining XP candies that I need to get to level 100. <laughs> Alright, so it's going to be a Psychic at the top. Yeah, let's go for the dark one. That looks like a... Um, can't remember the name now. More Peko, that's it. I'm just going to try and rush through this as quickly as I can to get the team ready. <laughs> Which means I'm going to be Dynamaxing rather often. Oh yeah, I should probably be turning off the... Uh... There we go, turn that off. Give you the actual... There we go, that's better. Now you've actually got Dynamax music. Oh. Music from the game. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know how everyone else um, sorts out their team for um, competitive battles, but yeah, I'll, I'll try and get try and get them prepared myself and then um, rather than have, have someone else you know like get get me a Pokemon and uh, to, uh, trade it over I feel like it's better if I have to put effort into build my team but one downside to that is it takes time to put it together so what's happened in my earlier streams is I've been doing Pokemon showdown because um, the team haven't been ready in, um, in time I was hoping to have it ready today, but just got a few last minute bits of stuff to do. <laughs> right, let's see what we got. So I know it's going to be a psychic Pokemon at the end of this, um, this uh, run. Make sure I have something that's going to be good against it. Uh, Dark Pulse and Electric Moves, yep, yeah, we'll use that one. Psychic there, there's Grass there, there's Berries there. Yeah, let's go this way. Got our first spam today. <laughs> Buy Sugar Plum 83. Want to become famous? Buy followers and viewers on. Nope, I don't want to visit that link. 
Bye bye. Uh, how do I ban you? I forgot. So I'll do this. There we go. Yeah, banned. <laughs> All right. That's good. Uh, at least I know my my, um, my stream's got a bit of exposure at the moment. <laughs> Otherwise, those bots won't be visiting me, will they? <laughs> Just as Amaractus has been frozen in spot there, uh, that that little spam post had been frozen. I've just completely banned and deleted it. I think it's just disappeared on my uh, on my um, chat as well, which is good. We don't want any of that. Team composition at the moment with the uh, NPCs uh, seems to be seems to be um, good enough to make it to the end of this uh, this run and uh, get the uh, get the three points at the end. So he should come out of this with another three um, XL uh, XP candies. Yeah, Max, find Max. Let's do it. I've just got to take him out as quick as I can. <laughs> of course, some of the time spent getting the team together has uh, been trying to work out the best, the quickest way to level up Pokemon in this game. I think this is probably the quickest way to do it. Um, very closely tied with doing the um, the new was it the uh, Galarian Star Tournament that you get with the uh, Crown Tundra uh, DLC. I think those two are probably the quickest methods. No one picks up uh, Hordeature because it's it's going to die instantly to any sort of psychic attack. <laughs> it's not going to make the next next um, not going to make the legendary fight uh, very fun. Someone picks it up. <laughs> you can't trust the NPC to do what you want. The computer.
doing good so far. Ah, even better. Alright, what's the... That one. Should have this one. <laughs> as long as we have this one, it's probably like one extra one uh, run, maybe uh, another run after that, then we're all good. Oh, finally lost one of our team. <laughs> Still got Pokemon to catch in the um, Max Raid Adventures because I was I was trying to go for shinies on this uh, this profile, but I was just I wasn't getting any luck with it, so I decided nah, screw it. <laughs> let's just let's just get the uh, legendaries and be done with it. If I want shinies that badly, I can always start a new profile. Three extra um, XL XP candies. Got to get those. Where's this going to put me? God damn you, Glastria! You, you are taking so long to uh, level up. <laughs> so it's, it's definitely going to be free. Maybe um, like another two runs, maybe another three. We get where we want to be. It's not what I wanted. Fairly mixed team there. What's it going to be? Flying type. I mean, that, that, that could be any flying type. I don't know what it's going to be. Uh, yeah. Go of water. Looks like a um, quillfish there. Speed is the key. Yeah, so I think what I'll do is yeah, if we if we say so if we get to like um, quarter to eleven and we haven't got any um, haven't got our team ready, um, yeah, probably at that point, which we'll um, maybe you go to showdown. Depends how. Depends how um, how well I'm doing.
Eek. Still type of water type. Berries are on this side, so I think we should go for the water type. Looks like a uh, octillery. Force, yeah. Banning force. That's it, Slow King. Keep using. <laughs> oh, hi, hi there, Mish. <laughs> yeah, I, it's, it's a bit of a later stream than usual. <laughs> so, had, had a. Um... Oh, yeah, thanks. Yeah, just recently, last, last couple of days I had the haircut. <laughs> Finally managed to get round to one after the um, after the lockdown's been eased. <laughs> it's been the reason why I've been wearing the hat. <laughs> yeah, it's been a bit of a late one because um, yeah, I've been looking after the uh, the new puppy and um, yeah, I've just been trying to find the time to do streams. <laughs> Yeah, so at the moment I'm just absolutely just trying to rush it to get a team ready, and you know, I can actually do some uh, do some battle stadium uh, later later in this stream. <laughs> just agonising because I've got I've got Pokemon at level a ninety eight, but I can't hyper train them until level one hundred. <laughs> yeah, you can say you can say that again. Uh, roller coaster pup. <laughs> yeah, little, little border collie. Um, six, nearly sixteen weeks old now, and yeah, full of energy. <laughs> um, she's still she's still at the age where she doesn't know when she needs sleep. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting. No, I, I know. Yeah, sorry, Sammy, I got the wrong person. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, but there's because there, there's you, and then there's um, there's a, there's a friend of mine from the um, Pokemon League called. Um, I think she uses like the um, username like Werewolf Mish or something. So I, I, I got I got your usernames confused. <laughs> That and plus, maybe I'm just a bit tired. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm telling, telling you about the uh, new puppy. <laughs> I'm telling you about the new puppy, but of course you already know that. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, you, you, you could have you could have just um, just let me carry on forever, really. I, I wouldn't have noticed. <laughs> Yeah, what I was going to say, if um, yeah, if these late night streams work out, then um, maybe I'll move to these instead of doing the um, between four and six. But it all depends on like how, like how how alert I am for this. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you if you said that, I would have I would have um, realised. Yeah, the moment you said it, Ryan, yeah, I probably would have got oh, oh crap, I've got the wrong person. <laughs> Still can't Dynamax. <laughs> oh, free time combo. Oh, was it? I think I've got like some Streamlabs thing that um, does uh, a combo counter. I think because you've done that that laughing face uh, three times, it's um, counted it as a combo. <laughs> yeah, late late night would be good. For, um, for America, I think. I find I find sometimes that they're they're on um, like early morning around eight or nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, they're they're still doing, doing up their um, I think it'll be, um, yeah just just past midnight streams for them, depending on whereabouts they are. Right, we should hopefully get this. I don't think the team's had any knockouts yet. Of course, I'll have one now. There I go. <laughs> yeah, I think Florida's about five hours behind us, and then um, yeah, the, f the further you go west, the uh, the bigger the time difference. Be able to show you in a minute the, the how how close I am to getting this this team up to level 100. It's <laughs> such an agonising process to put the team together sometimes. Because this this game's made it easier to um, put teams together in some ways, but um, it's more time consuming in others. Nine dinite all again. I'm just trying to get through this to get as many X XP candies as I can. Because oh, what am I doing? Yeah, free free dinite or equals um, one XL candy. I'll get free each run. Yeah, have you have you, um, have you played the uh, Crown Tundra yet? Have you got the uh, DLC? That was better. Oh, so close! <laughs> It just needs one more run and I can actually get the team together. Oh, we got some good ones here. Yeah, let's go for you. Oh, 
Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think overall with the, with the DLCs, I think the, the first one, the Isle of uh, Armor, it's it's okay. There's not much um, like extra story con content for it. Um, but the um, yeah, the Crown Tundra um, definitely. Um, I think it's worth the uh, worth the extra money. So um, the Isle of Armor, you've got the got the extra bit to get the uh, that new uh, Kabufu Urshifu uh, Pokemon, and then you've got Crown Tundra where you can just basically get all of the legendaries from the previous games, uh, except for the uh, uh, mythical Pokemon. Uh, I want to do yeah that. And then obviously it's got them. Um, it's got their uh, bigger bigger Pokédex for the uh, for the other DLCs as well. Yeah, Tundra definitely makes it worthwhile. Because uh, Tundra's got more sort of like uh, like mini quest uh, side quests you can do, so you've got um, you've got um, several uh, you've got all of the uh, Regis uh, to get like Reggie Rock, Reggie Ice, and then Reggie Seal. Uh, then you've got the the new Regis, which is uh, Reggie Draco or Reggie Alecki. Uh, you've then got. Uh, the new um, legendary Pokemon to, uh, for the DLC, so you've got uh, Calyrex, and then you've got these two horses as well. Um, I've got one of them, which I'm trying to level up at the moment. And get this done. Yeah, and I think there's I think there's like a, a, another few Pokemon that just appears. Like a, you've got quite a few legendary to catch, and you've got this. Um, Dynamax Adventures, where you can get all the older ones. So it's, it's similar to um, if you got Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon, um, doing the uh, the wormhole mini game. So instead of the wormhole thing, you've got you've got this instead. Right, I can't remember what. Um, yeah, let's just let's just see what he's got. So Flareon's pretty good for this, although he is um, paralysed at the moment, which is a problem. Yeah, so with with this, you you do um, like four four Dynamax raids in a in a row, and you still have the. Uh, if you get knocked out four times, then you then you lose. That, that's still um, part of it. Uh, I'm going to keep Flareon for this, I think. And yeah, someone else can have Dead Any. Uh, I've got. All right, I can go for either of these. Go for that one. <laughs> some of the some of the sound effects on this can make you jump sometimes <laughs> if you're playing on the TV. Yeah, burning jealousy. Doing okay for time. I reckon I've got enough time to do do another run if I need if I need to, and then um, then get a couple of uh, matches in on the uh, battle stadium. Should be uh, good to go. Tough blarp, but then amplified because it's a uh, larger.
come on, there's a sliver of health left. Alright, someone else should take care of it. Yeah, there we go. And do I want Wigglytuff? Wigglytuff's quite bulky, I think. Let's just check what um, what moves it has. So there's um, there's a cool thing with this if you're if you're doing uh, shiny hunting. It's if you've if you've filled up the Pokedex for the um, and got the shiny charm. If you go through this, I think you've got like a maybe like a one in four chance of so you, you can catch up to four Pokemon for each run, and then you've got a one in four chance of one of those uh, being a shiny, which is actually pretty good odds. Oh, I missed my chance to get that Pokemon. Whoops. Uh, go that way, and it's a bug type. Okay. Oh, I can get get a fighting type. Fighting type's good against bugs. I don't know what bug types are going to be legendary ones. Hmm. Yeah, shiny charm. If you if you fill up, so if you get all four hundred Pokemon in um, in the Sword and Shields, just the main game without the DLC, um, I think there's an area near the end of the game where you go talk to someone, and they they say, "Oh, well, well done for completing the Pokedex," and then they give you the shiny charm. It's like a key item. It doesn't do anything except it increases the the odds of uh, finding shiny Pokemon. Yeah, so with with that you come into here and then it's if you catch all four Pokemon in a run, then you got one in four chance of one of them being shiny. So when I, when I first started doing this, I thought, yeah, I won't I won't actually because you can you can keep encountering the legendaries you find at the end as long as you don't catch them. So say if you find Groudon at the end. If you catch it, then that's the only chance, you, the only time you can catch it. But if you, if you either catch it and don't take, don't keep it, or you, yeah, if you if you don't catch it or you catch it but release it, then you can uh, you can encounter it again in this. Uh, do I want? Yeah, let's 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 take him. Let's see what he's got. I can't remember what, what type of uh, legendary it's going to be a bug type. I really don't know. Not that many like, through the games. Yeah, I've got absolutely no idea what, what it's going to be. Alright, so Dynamic Punch, Rock Team, Payback, payback and Coaching. Uh, flare has got... Yeah, I'm gonna swap. Oh, hi there, Captain Cardiac. Um, so, do you still have to trade a match hope to get a match amp without Pokemon Home? Hi, hi. <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, you can. You can trade. Trade between people to get the. Uh, oh yeah, it could be Genesect. Or would it? Um, is that mythical? No, that's, that's that's mythical one. I think. So I don't think you would do it. Oh, and I've, yeah, we've just encountered it now. It's uh, Feromosa, one of the Ultra Beasts. <laughs> so this one I can take care of with uh, fighting moves. Yeah, to yeah to get Machamp, you can actually encounter it in the wild area, I think. Or you can you can encounter the um, Gigantamax uh, Machamp from uh, Max Raids. I don't know if it's um, if it's just one version of um, 
one version of the, either sword or shield that has it, but I think both of them might have it. Yeah, so you, you could just um, do the uh, the little trick to um, get the right raid then, and then um, then you should be able to find it that way. Hey, it just started the game a few days ago. Oh, <laughs> welcome, welcome to Sword and Shield. <laughs> Yeah, this this game feels simpler than the than the older ones, but there's there's still there's still a lot of content in there if you if you're into like doing some of the um, you know, like the comp competitive uh, battles or or just filling up the poker decks and getting everything in the game. I haven't played since Diamond and Pearl, so I feel like I missed out on a lot. So you say you played Diamond and Pearl? I I've I've never played Diamond and Pearl. So I'm actually looking forward to the remakes. It's probably going to be the uh, best chance for me to um, have a go at them. Yeah, because we've got Diamond and Pearl remakes, like finally after so many people are asking for it. And we've got the... Was it Pokemon Legends Arceus? I, I can't remember the name of the title of the game now. But that's, that's um, due in another, another year or so, isn't it? Oh, ah, thanks for the follow, Captain Cardiac. <laughs> Much appreciated. Yeah, so game, games that I've played. So grew up playing Red and Blue. Um, had a go at Gold and Silver, but never completed it. Then I've I do have um, I, di I didn't play Ruby and Sapphire when it came out. I've got um, I think I've got a, a Mega Ruby. I haven't played much of that. Then there's there's a gap there. So Diamond and Pearl I never picked up. Now let me just catch this. Yeah. Yeah, so Diamond and Pearl I never never played. Then there was uh, Black and White. So I, I actually picked up, I think, Pokemon Black. Uh, played maybe like the first hour or so of it. And then, and then, then just never picked it up again. I went through a Pokemon drought before I then then completed um, uh, Pokemon X, and then played um, Pokemon Sun and Moon Ultra Sun and Moon to death. Because <laughs> about around that point, I thought, yeah, like let's actually have a proper go at it again. And then um, then I got into um, got into competitive uh, video game championships. Uh, Blue was the best of the three originals. Uh, I, I had red version. Charizard. <laughs> yeah, play, play like memories of like playing red version, and then um, I think I was absolutely glued to it. I um, played it for a solid twenty-four hours when I first got it. <laughs> I didn't sleep. Yeah, that was fun times. All right, let's see how we've got with our um, our team. All right, is this enough? The 100 Togekiss, okay. All right, we haven't quite got level 100 Dusclops. That's okay. Oh, it's so close. Level 100 Glastria, good. Alright, we just need to level up Dust Cops and then we can uh, get the team together. <laughs> hey, I think it did blue, red, yellow, silver, gold, diamond, ruby, X. Let's go Eevee then sword. Oh yeah, let, let's go Pikachu. I had that. I got to... I think I got to just before Rock Tunnel. But I... I don't know. Like, let's go Pikachu. I don't think it really appealed to me that that much because it was it was a Gen One remake, but with um, Pokemon Go um, mechanics in it. No, it wasn't. I think it was like a, a better method of getting shinies on it because you just you just get like a really big uh, catch streak for one one Pokemon, and then that's how you get the shinies. But. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it was for me. 
Right, so we've got Dusclops. Dusclops needs to level up. And we can hopefully just do a couple of just, uh, random encounters and then level it up that way. Yeah. Points needed to level up. 7,057. Let's do it. Come on, Dusclops, let's power level you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they just didn't add those features to Sword and Shield. My friend said to get back to the to get, get short Sword Shield before Let's Go. Yeah, because cause let, Let's Go Pikachu, you, you just... Hmm. No, I've completely lost my train of thought now. <laughs> XP are going to give me. Uh, no, that's not enough. Oh, you can ride a Pokemon around. Think you can have a partner walk with you. Ah, uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that was one good, um, one good thing they had. It. Um, yeah, because you, you you didn't really get sort of Pokemon walking around with you until you had the DLC for this game. And then it seemed like Let's Go Pikachu was had one up on there this game by letting you uh, ride around on your Pokemon. Yeah. Right, which Pokemon had the lucky egg? That was Glastria, wasn't it? Give me back that lucky egg. Let Dusclops have it. Where is it? There we go. Let's speed up the link process. Yeah, so you can ride a Pokemon around, I think you can have a part of the walk with you. I mean, in our camp, we can use the Joy-Con to cook in uh, Short and Shield. Yeah, I have, I have a question about that. Is there like any specific way in which you can get the, um, get the higher grade um, curries? Because it, it just seems seems quite random to me, like um, the award that it gives you. I know that you're supposed to use sort of um, better um, berries in the in the mix. But I seem to only ever get, ever get like uh, bronze or silver uh, for the rating. Come on Dusclops, let's get you to level 100. Uh, yeah, brick break. Now, I'm not sure having to shake trees is becoming tedious in its own way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, see, I think I, I got to a point and I just um, stopped doing the uh, the camping bit. It was only if I got stuck on the uh, on the story modes and just needed to do like a quick a quick. Um, Almost like a Pokemon Center stop for my um, for my team. So I thought rather than having to trek all the way to a Pokemon Center, I could just eat, like have them eat a curry and then it should recover their health. So it was, it was good for that. But I don't I don't think I'll be spending the time filling in the um, the uh, the curry decks. Okay, so I think with that we've now got our team up to level one hundred. So now on to the next part of my agenda to get the team ready. Uh, let's let's do the old bottle cap thing. So I think it's you that hyper trains. Yeah. All right. So here we go. Let's get these IVs up to up to their best. Do that one. Togekiss needs needs hyper training. Yeah, let's 
special attack and speed. Ah. Uh, wasn't there a feature in the past to combine berries? Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> I know that the um, there were some really good um, bits with um, with Sun and Moon that they didn't bring into this game. And I think one of them was um, being able to um, harvest berries. So you had the... was it the Pokemon... Pokemon Pelagia or something? There's there's an option on your menu which took you to this, this island which you could... Um, give coffee beans to to level up and it allowed you to um, harvest berries so if you've got a, sp a particular berry like say a leper berry to um, to um, recover your um, uh, move points then you could just um, harvest a whole bunch of those off the island it would take a day but you'd get absolutely tons of them and it avoided you having to go to trees to keep shaking them to get more Let's have a look here, so oh yeah, we need to I've train you. Yeah, so there's there's no there's no real way to farm berries in this game other than shaking trees. Or um, I think you can buy you can buy some berries from from the uh, shops in the uh, towns, but that's that's about it really. Let's just check what I've got. Oh. No, he's not going to let me do it now. Alright, let's just quickly judge our Pokemon. Alright, so now we can get the team together. No. Oh, stop doing that. <laughs> We've got a bit of uh, fat fingers uh, syndrome with the uh, menu here. <laughs> okay, right, so we've got... Yep. We're hyper-trained on Rotom Mo, And we're... We've got... Oh, yeah, we need to get her um, bottle caps for Glastria. That's one more. You come back here. Right, you're all good. You're hyper trained. Uh, you already had good um, IVs. So are you. And you've just been hyper trained. Okay. Right, luckily I have battle battle points to spare to buy some extra bottle caps. There's the shop. This one. Right. There we go. I need... Let's just get three. I think that should be enough. Alright, so defense. And we're not worried about special attack. Uh, or speed, because speed, speed is supposed to be bad for this one. Okay. Right, that is the team ready now. I just need to get their items up and then uh, register with a um, register the team. Right, so held item. You should have a citrus berry. I think that's what I put in the uh, team paste before. And uh, then you should have weakness policy. Come on, where are you? Who's got the weakness policy?
My bloody weakness policy's disappeared. <laughs> I've got 45 battle points. Can I buy Wix policy? Yes! Phew! Right, that was lucky. I know what's probably happened. Is I probably had the item on Glastria and then I lost it in a regular battle. There we go. No, not one of those. No, you need to find some rare Pokemon. Is there, are, you, are you just looking for the legendaries, or is there like any specific Pokemon you're after? I mean, I might, I might not be able to trade you anything, but I was, I was just curious what you what you're looking for. <laughs> All right, so citrus berry, weakness policy, scope lens, assault vest. Yet, yeah. uh, you had leftovers. Is it? Tons of leftovers. And then you add Eviolite. Uh, I'm not sure because this region is very new to me though. Um, got a Togepi from a den. Oh yeah, to Togepi's good. Um, yeah, so I'll I'll show you um, what I mean in a second. Um, give me a sec. There it is. Yeah, so I can talk about it when I um, go through the team. Okay, yeah, so this is going to be the team I'm going to be doing for um, some battles. So I've got a bit of time now um, before I wrap up today to uh, do some battle stadium. So we got the team together. Whee! <laughs> so um, let me just quickly show the uh, team paste. Yeah, so this is going to be the team I'm going to be running with um, for the next couple of matches. So um, yeah, we'll start off with Togekiss. So you've got a Togepi. Um, evolve it into Togekiss. And I think you'll be looking for one that has its hidden ability. Um, so super luck, and then give it the item scope lens. And I think I've got this right. I may have got it wrong, but it's got like a 50% chance of uh, critical hits. So it's, um, yeah, definitely really good. <laughs> and then um, obviously because it can learn the flying move. And I think flying type moves are the, the most broken the max moves when you when you dynamax so you, you just um spam max airstream if you can and you'll um yeah you'll just in increase the speed of your pokemon uh on your side um so you're just getting faster and faster and i think fine type moves have have a really good uh, base power for, for damage yeah so let's let's talk through the team then so this this team's going to be uh, glastria uh, in Trick Room, so purposely um, kept doing soft resets until I got one with the um, with zero IVs for speed, and then made sure it was a um, a hindering nature for speed to make sure it was really slow. So the idea is you set Trick Room up, and then this one will sweep teams, and then Chilling Nay increases its attack with each knockout it gets. So you just it just snowballs if. If the other person hasn't got anything to counter it, it will become an absolute menace. Um, so, need a trick room setter. So for that, I have got um, Dusclops with Eviolite. So, really bulky Pokemon. Um, not a lot of stuff can take it out in one shot. Um, it's got uh, it's got stats. Well, it's got investment in uh, defense um, as well as HP. Well, mostly defense and special defense to make sure it can soak up hits. So being a ghost type, um, immune to fake out. So you can't make it flinch. Um, it's like, yeah, you, don't, you wouldn't get a guaranteed flinch on it because you'd have to do something else like rock slide or um, air slash on it. Um, obviously, there's still an issue with um, being put to sleep or being paralyzed to stop you from doing trick room. So. For that we've got Tapu Fini with uh, Misty Surge, so it sets up Misty Terrain and that stops you from getting hit with uh, status effects like um, Sleep, Paralysis, Poison, 
you name it. <laughs> uh, then we've got our own our own fake out um, support on the team, so that's um, Incineroar. Right. Shall I just actually show you the moves here? Because I think I've got one move I need to change. Yeah, so there we go. So we've got Duskops with Trick Room, uh, a couple of uh, moves there. Brick Break for if they set up either a light screen or a flat, so you can break it with that. Um, then we've got our Tapu Fini there with a, with a Taunt as well to prevent any sort of uh, Trick Room set up on the other team. Um, Incineroar's pretty basic uh, setup, so um, Fake Out, it's got U-Turn to switch out with another Pokemon, uh, Flare Blitz for a fire move, and then uh, Snarl to lower special attack of the other team. Uh, the um, the Zapdos um, that I've got there, yeah, you, you can get that in the Crown Tundra DLC. So if you, if you well, either DLC, because you you can do um, the Isle of Armor to get Galarian Zapdos, I think it's no, actually no, it's in Crown Tundra. Yeah, Crown Tundra, Tundra gets you Galarian Zapdos, and then it's got Max Raid Adventures, and then you can get the uh, the Kanto Zapdos um, through that. And it's like all of the older legendary Pokemon's you can get from that from that uh, that area. So where were we? Uh, Incineroar. Uh, then we got Togekiss there. So using Super Luck and Scope Lens for to get as many critical hits as we can with that. Uh, it's got Follow Me there as well. So if you want to sort of stop another Pokemon from getting hit on the team, then use Follow Me to redirect it. Um, Glastry is there with um, basically all attacking moves and also weakness policy. So if they do try and use a super effective move, it increases Glastria's attack again. <laughs> so you've got to be careful with that. And then yeah, Rotom Mo has just been put in there for coverage. So um, some grass and electric moves as well as Dark Pulse and then Protect it. Pretty, pretty basic. That's the team. Right, uh, let's get this team set up. Yeah, let's put them in armor, do those. <laughs> oh wait, hold on. Ah, I can't do that yet. There is one Pokemon that's got a wrong move here. Who is it? It was... Yeah, Togekiss, that was it. You know what, I didn't think you could uh, put a couple camp in here. <laughs> I just learned something new there. Right, where's Protect? Yeah, so we'll probably get about maybe three matches with this team um, before we um, finish off for today. So as long as I get the uh, actual moves on here. I will replace, uh, yeah, replace Heatwave with this. Okay. All right, now I can put the team together. Right, all set. And let's make sure we save that. <laughs> right. It is time. It is time for Battle Stadium. <laughs> After so long, like it it takes so long to get a team together sometimes. Because it's just getting all the resources to level them up and to make sure they've got the right moves so you got to search for trick rooms um not trick rooms technical machines or technical records in this game okay right i do need pen and paper for this because i am still 
still very much learning the uh, the format. <laughs> so we're in Series 9 at the moment for competitive Pokemon. So it allows all of the um, all of the Pokédex apart from the um, the big legendaries. So Zacian, Zamazenta, and Calibrex um, from the uh, Ground Tundra DLC. And then you're not allowed any of the um, the big legendaries from from the um, other games which you can get in Crown Tundra. Okay. Right, so you're about to see me uh, play some battles. Uh, hopefully, hopefully win a couple. Um, but if not, not the end of the day. We've now got a team ready, which we can uh, actually play on Battle Stadium now for this uh, this series. Wait, by me. That's rank battles. New season has started. Please check your rank, as ranks have been updated due to the season change. The result will be... Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. So we're going to do doubles. So 2v2. Uh, yeah, let's show my team info. Alright, let's submit our team. Oh, all that effort. Now we're going to see how we do. <laughs> So, first match, here we go. Right, so what are we up against? Right, here we go, our first team. So we're up against a Rotom Wash, up against a Galarian Darmanitan, a Cinder Ace, uh, they got a Toga Kiss. We've got a Lycan Rock, uh, the midday form, I think that is. And they've also got a uh, Duraludon. Right, so what do I need to bring here? So it looks like a team that's built for speed, so I think I can abuse that or play into that by um, doing my Trick Room lead. So Dust Clops. Uh, is anything going to try and paralyze or burn me there? I don't think so. Uh, I could bring in Cinerol as my backup. Um, definitely Blastro because we need need that one. And ba 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 ba. Oh, um, what for the fourth Pokemon? Let's bring Tapu Fini. Let's just do that. That may be the wrong lead, but the um, wrong ball Pokemon, but we'll see what happens. Oh, it feels good to be playing Battle Stadium again. <laughs> That's... So I'm going to move my mic. Alright, so there's leading the Rotom and Togekiss. That's fine. So we're doing Intimidate. Right, they're going to be faster than me as far as I know. Oh, and we got a King's Rock there on the Togekiss. Right, well luckily I know that Fling is going to be a... Um, not going to be that high a priority move, so I can fake it out. So we want Trick Room to start off with. And then we want Fake Out... I would say on Togekiss. Let's do that. Right, there we go, so we stopped Togekiss from moving. I'm gonna get a Hydro Pump. I've put Defensive Investment into Incineroar. So yeah, he should should take that like a champ. And Trick Room is up. Now the fun begins. <laughs> Alright, so. Hydro Pump, and I'm pretty sure Fling was on Togekiss there. Right. Uh, da, 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 da. So we want. Let's go Nightshade on Togekiss. And let's do U turn, get, get Incineroar out. Bring in uh, Glastria. And 
in comes Glastria. Now, there is a cool thing I can do if, it, if they let me do it, and that's I can use Brick Break from, um, from Dusclops on Glastria to activate its weakness policy. See if we can do that. Fortunately, um, I'll tell you what, if I just do Nightshade from Rotom, play it safe here. Make sure that token kiss is going down. There we go. Phew! <laughs> Alright, let's let's see how Glastria does. <laughs> go go ice horse. And gone. Nice. Chilling they attack goes up. Lovely. <laughs> I think that's a citrus berry. Yeah. Alright, so I've, I've got I've still got um Drip Room up for I think another two turns. They've got Cinderace coming out. Cinderace, I should just be out of floor instantly. Uh, da, 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 da. What I probably want is I probably want. Um, keep we'll keep um, Dusclops out. That's Quake against Cinderace. Oh, we're gonna get a um, gonna get a big Cinderace, I think. Now, can Cinderace take a um, Max Quake from a plus one attack uh, Glastria? Let's find out. The answer is no. <laughs> Goes up. I think we should hopefully have, um, survive another hit from their uh, roads and wash. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Oh, they are, they, are, they are still here. Was wondering if they were just um, conceding the match there. Alright. So Nightshade and Rotom. Info. Trick Room still got one more turn. And so we're going to do Mass Quake again. I mean, they should close it up now. There it goes. <laughs> it snowballs. <laughs> this is the whole the whole point of the team. You, you set up Glastria with um, with Trick Room, and you just 
you aim to sweep. Right, so Trick Room's done, but I've still got all four Pokemon and they've got barely any HP left on them on Rotom there. So this this is this is pretty much it. Oh yeah, that's not gonna work, is it? Don't really matter what, what move I pick. <laughs> we got this. Yeah, it was a nice, comfortable win. <laughs> there we go. And props to them for sticking around for the uh, for the full match. I've seen a lot of times where people will be be um, two Pokemon lost on their side, and then they'll just say, "No, you've got me. I'm I'm off." <laughs> I mean, I, I would have conceded if that was me. <laughs> Yeah, Ro Rotom's, Rotom's um, fairly good, I think, because it you can, I, th I think you can put quite quite a bit of bulk on it and have it as a supporting Pokemon. So, so not really doing much damage itself, but having support moves like say um, Will O Wisp to uh, burn your opponent, or um, having Helping Hand just to um, give that little plus one boost to um, to one of your other Pokemon. Oh, yeah, it's definitely great for bikes. Yeah, <laughs> best way to travel around the uh, the Sword and Shield uh, map. Right, so let's let's continue battling. That was a nice win to start off the uh, set of matches today. So I'm going to do two more, and then I really need to go to bed because I'm tired. <laughs> right, so let's get our let's get our next match. Against a rank three, right? So they've got, um, oh yeah, cutie fly. Is that right? That's no, very different there. One, uh, Tyranitar. We've got Umbreon. Uh, Charizard. Guessing that one's uh, Gigantamax. Uh, Suicune. And Hitmonchan. That's an interesting team. It looks, it looks like that that cutie fly might have um, speed swap. Perhaps it's pretty fast. I reckon it would speed swap with one of those other Pokémon. In which case, I feel like Trick Room's another good option for me here again. They're Dusclops, but then I reckon bring in Tapu Fini because I'm not I'm not too sure, but I think they may have an option to um, put Dusclops to sleep. Perhaps. Uh, Glastry in the back, and then. Who else do I bring? I think Togekiss is a good answer to most of those. Or even Rotom. We'll bring Rotom. Rotom, though. So, no Incineroar. Whether that was a good choice or not, <laughs> we'll find out. Yeah, GG, just got my Rotom bike upgrade to ride over water. <laughs> RIP Surf HM. Yeah. But no, no one will miss the uh, hidden machines and having to teach a Pokemon a HM just to get through the map. <laughs> oh, shiny Hitmonchan. Right, so they've got Suicune and Hitmonchan. I think Suicune's going to try and do Tailwind. I know that it's a, it's a Tailwind setter. Oh, and then Hitmonchan may be fake out. But that's okay. Mm, I don't need to do like uh, taunt or anything. Yeah, I think with this I could. Oh, I didn't bring in uh, Cinderall. Um, 
Moonblast. I think Moonblast. I'm probably seeing a fake out here. Yep, yeah, fake out on who? Tapafini, that's fine. Tweaking does crunch. Does next to nothing because that Eevee alight. <laughs> and Trick Room's up. Fake out, crunch, those are the two moves I saw. And... So, I could switch out Glastria for. Uh, switch out Duskops for Glastria. Because I don't think they're going to aim a fighting move at it. And then for Tapu Fini, I'll do Calm Mind. I think that, that's my play. Ah, oh, damn it. They read me. <laughs> oh, but they activated weakness policy. Yes. skill animation. Yeah, it's, it's, it's totally zen, isn't it? <laughs> okay, time to time to set up my sweep. So we want yeah, we want to up our defense, I think. Let's go for max steel spike into high horsepower actually. Into either of them really. Do Hitmonchan, Hitmonchan's the the bigger threat I think. Let's just double into it. Yeah, so zen. Ah, oh, crap! I didn't Dynamax! <laughs> oh, switched out the eject button, okay. It's that bit where you, where you do Dynamax and pick a move, but then you go, oh no, I want to do this move instead. You've really got to, like, check what you're doing. Right, that Tyranitar's probably got um, weakness policy on it. Oh, no weakness policy, okay. And you, you're doing Icy Wind when I've got Trick Room up. Are you mad? <laughs> I mean, if you if you want to make me faster in Trick Room, that's 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 up to you, really, isn't it? <laughs> All right, Dynamax, let's actually do it this time. <laughs> then we'll do. Well, the game's lagging a bit. Here we go. All right, so so basically, I've got to beat the game or buy the expansion to catch some legendaries. You've got you've got legendaries in the um, in the main game. Um, the, what the DLC does is it just uh, adds on adds on the, to the Pokédex, so you've got more Pokémon to catch. And um, and then like with uh, like with uh, Sun and Moon, where you had like all of those. Um, all those legendaries which you catch in the um, was it Ultra Space. Um, you've got uh, Max Raid Adventures in Crown Tundra to get all the legendaries again. God damn you, Tyranitar. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm one of these people that uh, think they should have kept the uh, the full Pokédex for the um, for the main game. I mean, 
we, we would have been happy with um, them just like not not having the uh, game ready, just make, delaying it a bit so they could like get all of the uh, Pokemon into the game. Uh, but we are where we are. <laughs> right, who are they Dynamaxing? I'm guessing it's Tyranitar. Wouldn't make sense to Dynamax uh, Suicune now. Yeah, here we go. It's interesting to find that this um, Tyranitar didn't have weakness policy on it. I thought that was the more common item for it to hold. Oh, we're just about hold, held on there. Right, there we go. So they've got a Hitmonchan, and I don't know what other Pokemon that they've uh, brought out. There's one Pokemon they haven't shown me yet. We get that moon blast in. Come on, yeah, there we go. Right, that's that's setting me up good. So they've got, they've still got the hit on Chan somewhere. One HP. <laughs> One HP. There's, I'm probably going to get hit by fake out now. I really thought Glastria was going to be knocked out by um, by the sandstorm on that move that turn. Ah, it's Umbreon. Okay, that's good though. We can just we can boost ourselves with uh, calm minds and get it. Right, have a quick check. Yeah, Trick Room's gone. So I can no longer rely on that. Mm. I'll try and move just in case I can get it. Yeah, I thought he would do that. But that's fine. So we've still got Dust Clops in the back, as well as uh, Rotom Mo. So I think we've got a Good amount of options here. Ah, confusion. Damn it. Right, I can do a switch out. Damn it. <laughs> oh, that sucks for them. <laughs> All right. Right now, now I'm not too worried. We've got three Pokemon left. They've got one. And yeah. Alright, so Dusclops not the best one to bring. But we should be able to get this with um Rotom and uh and Tapu Fini. Yeah, the only the only problem with Umbreon is that it will no recovery moves and it's it's quite a bulky Pokemon. So I've just gotta hit it with everything I've got. I mean, I'm going to be doubling into it, so maybe that should take care of it. Yeah, we should have this. Come on, break out your confusion. Yeah, that's it. Well, hey, win! <laughs> we're at 2-0. We're at <laughs> There was, there was a couple of uh, threats on that team, so not as not as straightforward as the uh, match before it, but yeah, managed to play around them. All right, so let's do our last match for today, and then we'll uh, we'll round it up, and then I can then I can go to bed. <laughs> oh, we've got some more battle points. That's good. Right, let's see what our final match is. Right, they are rank four. Pardon me. Right, so they've got Porygon two. They've got Gigalith. 
Oh, well, this looks like a hard trick room team. Got Vickervolt. Got Azumarill, which will probably have Belly Drum on it. And they've got Rillaboom. Oh, how do I want to play this one? So, I think... Yeah, these these Pokemon they've got on the team are more more towards like the slow end of the speed speed tiers. Definitely Gigalith. So, do I instead want to? Um... If I go Togekiss to start off with. Um, they haven't really got anything to stop me doing Fake Out on um, on Porygon Two. I could lead with in, uh, Incineroar and Togekiss. If I lead with... Uh, yeah, we go do this. I'm going to bring my fast options this time around, I think. We'll just do that. This may be a completely the wrong setup as, as before, but we'll go with it. Oh, they got a nice player card. <laughs> I like that one. Alright, so who are they leading with? They got Rillaboom and Chandelier. Oh, I didn't write Chandelier on my own thing. Alright, Chandelier is going to have Trick Room. I know it's going to have Trick Room. Right, what I should have done was I should have led with um, Tapu Fini as well as um, as well as Togekiss. <laughs> I made it despite Smith and it's getting annoying. <laughs> right. Uh, right, I want to take out. Let's just take out Chandler. See if we can get a critical hit on it. And. Do a fake out on Rillaboom, I think. Oh, they withdrew Chandler. Okay. The Porygon 2. They got both their Trick Room setters out. Oh, I see. Trying to, trying to intimidate me. Okay. <laughs> uh, Team Yell just keeps popping up, ambushing my teenage Pokemon trainer. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, the team yell aren't all that compared to the other the other villain teams. <laughs> but yeah, I do I do hate it in the story when you just have like battle after battle and you just think you've you put them here just to just to like um slow down the um slow down the story. Got speed advantage now. All right, so I'm going to just keep spamming Airstream here because um, should be good. So flare blitz on Rillaboom, and then. The max air stream on there. Right, so who's coming in now? Bringing in Chandler again. Ah, oh, okay. That's fine. Oh damn, that didn't actually take take him out. What the hell? I'm gonna get done in by Trick Room now. <laughs> yeah, flash fire. I know. Yeah. Here we go. What I was hoping was I was hoping I was knock out Porygon 2, but for some reason it decided that I didn't um, do enough damage there. That was unfortunate. Right, there is ways that I can play around this still. So what do I think they're going to do with um, Chandler? Yeah, but still try and go for knocking out Porygon. 
maybe do Snarl with, um, with Incineroar to lower their special attack. Yeah, it's going to be a Gigantamax Chandelure. Yeah, that's what I've wanted. I've got my team. I've got Tappy Feeny in the back. Should be able to soak up a couple of Chandelure hits. Luckily, Toka Kiss is bulky. <laughs> yeah, I don't get how Porygon was like such a tank there. <laughs> I was glad it's gone. So Togekiss is going to shrink down now. Um, how should I play this? It's going to do Max Flare again into Togi Kiss. The other Pokemon I've got is. Yeah, if I keep hold of Tapu Fini. I could do Protect, see if I can just um, survive a hit. Because then that's one extra. Um, one extra turn that they waste with their uh, Dynamax. That's what I wanted to do. Just enough to soak up another hit for another turn. And oh, that's an that's an interesting one. Okay, so what are we at in terms of like uh, still two two turns of trick rooms left? So it's not looking good for me this one. Might still be able to like do some fancy plays here. Do we do Dark Pulse into Chandelier? Uh, Chandelier. So Toka Kiss has just been sacked. <laughs> oh, nice. Let's bring Incineroar back out. Just got Tapu Fini, so we need to take care of um, Rillaboom. I already know that their Rillaboom is slower than my Incineroar, I think. 
Yeah, it is. So... Maybe I can get a snarl off. Uh, no. Take out Rillaboom. Dark Pulse uh, Chandelure. Let's try it. Hopefully we um, can uh, soak up a hit here. Oh, we're going for it. No, damn it. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be losing this one. Done that Rillaboom with the uh, Grassy Surge. I just feel that Tapu Fini is just going to get walloped in one one hit here. Oh, wait, hold on. Still dangerous at the moment. We've still got a, uh, a Rillaboom to sort out, as well as the um, Chandelure. It's a grassy surge, so you, you just want to make sure your Rillaboom stays alive as as, as long as possible. Right, so Trick Room is over. But I'm pretty sure that they... So here's what I think they can do. I think they're going to do Trick Room of Chandelure and Fake Out of Rillaboom. Which then guarantees that they'll go first next turn and I've got nothing that I can do to stop it. So I think... If they don't do it, then I can do Moonblast. And hopefully take out Rillaboom. So we'll do that. I think it's, it's the best option I've got. Do we get it? Nah. Yeah, wood hammer, and that's that's it for me. <laughs> yeah, GG. <laughs> yeah, I figured they were gonna have wood hammer on their on their Rilla boom. Yeah, so I didn't play that one that well. I, I could have beat that team, but yeah, wrong setup to start off with. Okie dokie. Alright, so that's that's gonna be the um gonna be it for me for today. Um because it's now nearly midnight. And uh, we're just gonna oh. 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 There we go. Yeah. I just I just saw there they've got another person there who's just uh, joined on to check the team uh, code Anish there. Um hi there, um welcome to the stream. Uh also <laughs> it's I'm only gonna be here for like another couple of minutes anyway, but yeah, the, that's the um, that's the team I've been running today. Um, it took me a while to set it up, um, but yeah, if you go there, you can see the stats for it. Um, so yeah, it's a practice team, but feeling pretty confident with it so far. And then going to practice some more, and and then um, yeah, see what what changes we need to make to um, to improve on it. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, thank, thanks again, Captain Cardiac, for, for watching. Uh, thanks also, Sam, uh, Sammy, sorry. 
Um, so I'm going to be heading off. Um, I've just got a quick script to read off because um, what I'll do is I'll highlight this video, uh, trim it down a bit, and then just upload onto my YouTube. Um, so I've got a quick quick outro here to to um, just reel off. So, eh, eh, hem. <laughs> All right, so that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, if you did, please follow please follow me on uh, Twitch or like this video and subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Uh, I've been Toot Toad Brown. Uh, thanks for watching. And yeah, that that little um, that little bit will make more sense on the uh, trimmed video on YouTube. <laughs> okay, so so yeah, uh, thanks everyone for watching. Um, got a couple more people here that at the end here as well. So yeah, um, yeah, if this works out, I'll do more sort of evening streams. I think it's a, it's a better better free time, but obviously it relies on me not being too tired. <laughs> um, so um, yeah. Overall, a good stream. We got the team together and we uh, did a couple of matches. So before I go, here's my socials. Um, so when I, if I do get a schedule together, it'll be on my Discord channel, which um, I've put a link there for it. Uh, also got a Twitter page. You can follow me on there. And then also uh, I've got my YouTube link there as well, where you can check some of my uh, previous videos and uh, highlights from Twitch. Um, so I'm going to head off. Um, thanks again for the uh, new follows, thanks again for people lurking and um, for the uh, people in the chat. Um, I'm hanging off now and uh, to all of you out there, uh, take care, have fun and we'll uh, see you on the next one. Bye bye.